We are Bomb Bomb House. I'm Yu Fan Gao. I'm Mandy Zhong. I'm Zhou Chen. Our VRSI chip design project is PPG based fingertip heart monitor and pulse oximeter. Now let's start with our demo. In our design, we use the Arduino Uno board to power on the chip and do the signal processing. When you plug in the USB power supply, the LCD screen will turn on and the chip is on as the LED turns on. The one in the middle is our chip, and the upper left region is the transmitted path. It detects the oxygen saturation by inserting one finger. The upper right region measures our heart rate by pinching the black transistor. Now you can see, we have prepared an oximeter that's in the market as a reference. And then, Yunfan inserted his left forefinger to detect his oxygen saturation. Note that you also need to pinch the phototransistor on the top right to measure the heart rate. After a few seconds, we could see the results. Normally, it takes a little bit more time to collect data for calculating oxygen saturation. Now they're all stable and almost the same as a reference. PPG sensors can be used either in reflection or in transmission mode. As the penetration depth of the light depends on its wavelength, green and yellow LEDs are most suitable to take measurements in the superficial blood flow and are typically used in reflection mode. On the other hand, infrared and near-infrared wavelength are better suited for measurements of deep tissue blood flow and can be used in transmission mode as well. In our project, we used both reflection mode as well as transmission mode. To measure heart rate, we chose a reflective light sensor to capture blood flowing signals. When you pinch the clip, it will detect blood signal flows and transfer them to currents. To measure oxygen saturation, we use transmissive light sensors. Basically, the oximeter calculates the percentage of oxygen saturation in the blood based on the amount of different light absorption in the blood. It has photodiodes and two LEDs, one red and one infrared. Oxygenated blood absorbs more infrared light and passes more red light while the oxygenated blood absorbs more red light and passes more infrared light. The processor calculates the ratio of red to infrared light received by the photodiode at different time intervals. After we collect signals from peripherals, they will enter the chip. We design three stages, two OTAs and one comparator. To acquire pure signals, we designed high-pass filters with cutoff frequency of 0.5 Hz and low-pass filters with cutoff frequency of 4 Hz, corresponding to human heart rates from 30 to 240. After two times of amplification, we use analog comparator to convert analog output to digital output. The analog output is used to calculate SpO2 and the digital output is used to calculate heart rate.